Paris, na Kalundu Mbala. Um, I studied the competency certificate in uh, hydrogen. Namibia is basically um, looking at the green hydrogen as a great opportunity. Uh, firstly, Namibia is one of the countries with very small uh, population density, meaning you have vast areas that are open. Uh, and given that um, Trinitas, the company that I run, um, we have uh, a 50 megawatt uh, solar PV project with the aim of um, supplying power to any of these uh, future uh, hydrogen plants. So I wanted to make myself relevant in the sense that um, when the opportunities begin to present themselves, be it transportation, storage or production, or even the power generation component, I would be up to date with what is happening and also have something tangible to show that I am capable. About online is that it's it's very convenient. Um, the, the the only issue maybe, um, which is a little exciting as well, is that sometimes the classes were just before midnight here local time, um, which was also an advantage because I have uh, two toddlers. So <laughs> that time they would be sleeping, so I would um, it, it would be nice and quiet. But the good thing. Um, was the flexibility. Um, you can basically, wherever you are, you'll be able to tune in provided you have good um, network coverage. And then also the opportunity to meet um, students from different parts of the world. So I would be saying good evening, others would be saying good morning, others good afternoon. And then you also get, um, during group discussions, you get to to hear other people's backgrounds. And I think that's what makes it um, very interesting. For example, with the course that I was doing, um, the two lecturers or professors, um, I think one of them was from India, I can't remember where the other one was from. Um, so you, you also get um, a variety of of, of professionals, uh, as in professors, for example, um, from different parts of the world. The, their teaching style is different from what um, you have, but it's, it's, it's interesting in the sense that it's a different perspective. Um, and it also opens you up to a bit of diversity, um, because there's a saying in my culture that to travel uh, is to learn. Yeah, if you are just within your own confines, you, you, you are not exposed to, to any opportunities. But with EIT, one of the things that um, I saw just from that course was that you getting lectures from different, from lecturers from different parts of the world. And they come with their own uniqueness and diversity and it, it opens your mind uh, somewhat. Before I started Trinitas, I was a consultant um, uh, from all the way from internship up to a senior mechanical engineer with Decker Consulting Engineers, um, where at one time I was managing over 13 projects um, by myself, which, which actually was one of the motivating factors for me to start my own uh, firm. Um, because what it did is it exposed me to uh, many of the industry players and like I said um, before we started the interview that yes when when you become good at what you do it starts to get boring so eventually I, I, I needed something that would further help in my professional growth and also individual growth so um, from 2021 when we um, when we started, or when I broke away completely from DECA, um, we were at um, 52 Albatross. But then last year, I had discussions with my parents and said, no, look, um, you are now retired, you are back in Zambezi region. Let me operate from, from your house. So we signed the 10-year lease agreement. So this current office now is where I grew up. Yeah, they laid the foundation and now I'm building my company from this foundation that they have left me with. This is a question that I normally get because um, 
every year I spend some time with uh, <coughs> final year students at NAST um, just to motivate them and to help them prepare for life after varsity and one of the things that I tell them is that set yourself apart because your colleagues that you are studying with are going to be your competitors and what would set you apart and that's where I think uh, the Institute of Engineering Technology comes into play because you have so many um, opportunities to advance yourself and some of the short courses are quite affordable if I may say it that way and that would be something that would set them apart and then on the personal um, side if you don't try you'll never know <laughs>